All right, so normally when I film a vlog for you, I am a little more careful about setting up and cleaning up and making things look nice. But I'm a little too excited right now for that because I just got literally, I just got something in. I don't know if you saw my video about microphones. I don't think I've ever had it, as many microphones pointing at me ever. But I'm just, I've been unhappy with microphones. Not unhappy, I, just trying to find something better than what I'm doing. And so I just got this in the mail. I saw some good reviews about it. Looked like what I'm looking for, so here it is. I'm so excited about it. I, my wife made peach cobbler and I haven't eaten it yet. So uh, we're gonna look at it. And I don't even have two cameras set up, so you're just gonna have to put up with my uh, um, uh. So here it is, newer condenser microphone kit. And uh, you've, You've seen the unboxings. If you haven't, they'll probably be suggested like down there in the corner. Um, so I'm not going to just repeat what other people have said. I'm gonna try it out for myself. I'm gonna plug the rest of my YouTube channel. It's tiny, so chances are you came here because you were searching for a review on this microphone. Um, but I do lots of photography and videography stuff. And uh, you should go check that out. But in the meantime, I'm just going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pipe this microphone straight into this camera through an XLR cable and uh, show you what it sounds like unedited, untouched, unmessed with. And we're just gonna do that same thing I did with my microphone video last time where we'll switch between the shotgun mic on here, the lapel mic I have on right now, and the microphone in question. Uh, and I'm really hoping, like I said, I haven't tested this. I just got it. Roger just dropped it off. He's my mailman, he's the best. I hope he watches this so that he can be encouraged. Um, we just dropped it off. And I haven't even tried it yet. I can tell you, it feels a little light, lighter than I expected. The shiny bits are a little more plasticky than I expected, but they don't look like that. And I care about how it looks on a camera and I care about how it sounds on a camera. In person, not so much. So I'm just gonna set this up uh, I've, I'm actually planning to do a series on my other YouTube channel uh, about looking at news from a Christian perspective. If you're interested in that sort of thing, it's going to be like a weekly thing. It's going to be a short thing. I'm just going to take a single story and talk about, you know, maybe all the pundits aren't thinking about this one aspect of what evangelical Christians think or what the Bible says. Evangelical Christians are usually wrong because they embarrassingly rarely know what the Bible says. So don't play with the springs, you'll pop them off. So that'll be called Messy Desk News because my workbench is a little messy right now and it's always a little messy, except for when I film videos. And then I clean it up, but not this time. So I'm going to finish setting this up. Um, one thing I, I'm going to add to this setup that didn't come with the microphone is I got another XLR cable because I'm filming on the Canon XA10, which I'm going to do a review on eventually. And if you're watching this after I've posted it, there'll be a card linking to that. It has XLR input with phantom power. And I have a soundboard over there that has phantom power that interfaces with my computer. So I don't need the XLR to eighth inch jack that this comes with. I don't know if it comes with that. I haven't even checked. <laughs> yeah, so this is goofy to me. I don't know why they do this, but it was really obvious in the 
in the uh, listing on Amazon and all the reviews, it's got an XLR to eighth inch stereo jack, which is dumb because it's a condenser mic, so it needs phantom power. So why would you, you don't usually get phantom power through this sort of thing. I mean, you might, I guess my, we'll try that too. We'll see if my D5600 will give it phantom power. Um, but I just got a regular XLR to XLR cable so that I can plug it into my XA10 and into my main soundboard. So we'll see how this goes. Fun times. I'm gonna go set up over on the workbench because that's where messy desk news is gonna come from. So here it goes. I am gonna eat some peach cobbler because it's just sitting here calling my name and my wife is just, the, she just made peach cobbler. Just cause I need to figure out how to make her think that more often. But it's delicious. Mm. Mm. All right, here we go. It's too thick. I just had a better idea. I'm going to see if the shock mount will mount to this desk stand. So this cable is from Amazon Basics. And I gotta tell you, it comes with the little Velcro cable management dealies that I love. That's awesome. I'm gonna put a link to that below too. All right, so we're recording now on three different microphones and uh, in the kind of the setup that I'm hoping to have it on Friday. Here it is with the Newer, what's it called again? The Newer NW700 Studio Condenser Mic. And it's going straight into my Canon XA10 with phantom power enabled. The attenuator is turned on because it, it just needs to be with the camera. And, uh, but other than that, this is just no, nothing else done to it. This is what it sounds like with my lapel, and I'm, I'm just tired of always, almost always wearing a lapel mic, so that was the main reason for this one. And then this is what it's gonna sound like with just the normal shotgun mic. Obviously, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this. Like I said, I've, I've never used it. I don't have any experience with it. I've just watched other YouTube videos about it and got it off Amazon, it came today. Anyways, yeah, so Neewer NW700. Actually, you know what, I may, I have, I have my guitar here. I'm gonna see what that sounds like, and if, if you don't care about that, that's fine. What's funny about this guitar, it lives here at the studio. It was my granddad's guitar. And uh, Keeley, you remember Keeley? She's the one that plays it the most. I don't think I'm gonna play anything in particular, but. see that uh, Key of Awesome video? Ever since then, this chord progression has been stuck in my head. I mean, it's really kind of not fair. Can you feel the love tonight? My favorite one that uses that. The only reason I sang is that I wanted to hear them together for myself. I'm sorry to do that for you. I'm sorry to do that to you. I'm not good at talking and playing at the same time. Anyway, so that's what the newer NW700 sounds like. So I almost forgot, but didn't quite forget that we were going to test it on my D5600 because I remembered and what you're listening to me through now is my Rode Video Micro which is on the camera and it it uh, it runs on phantom power 
because apparently cameras give phantom power. So I'm gonna try this. The XLR to eighth inch jack. And try it on the camera and see how that does because that would be really cool. It would make life simple. So here I go, I'm gonna try. So what you were listening to just now is the Video Micro Pro. What you're listening to now is the lapel mic that I use for most of the videos that I make. And what you're listening to now is the Neewer NW700 condenser, studio condenser microphone. Uh, and I just, I'm really looking forward to it because it really looks like it's picking up on the camera. You can see the little noise bars going. That's, that's always cool and very nice. So, all right, so it's official. I, I do really like this microphone. I'm talking to it right now. I just listened to the recordings that I took earlier and yeah, I really like them. People have complained about the noise floor being a little high. Yeah, that's right. Turn on your denoiser, that's easy. And it'll just go whoosh. And uh, yeah, so I really like this. This is what I'm gonna use in the future. And when that podcast happens, I'll let you know. And I'll see you on the other channel on Friday. Thanks. God bless you. We'll see you next time.